We're here at Lewin Farms on Calverton, Long Island. And this place is great because whatever's in season, you could pick your own. Today we're picking some nice fresh peaches. We're gonna get a bunch of these, take them home and make a delicious peach cobbler. So we're gonna pick a bunch of peaches, we'll see you later. We got a ton of great peaches from the farm today. It was a really great time. Olivia Rose did a great job picking these peaches. She worked really hard. And now it's time to make this great peach cobbler. Great summer dessert, really delicious. And it's super easy to make. Everything, I'm gonna go right in this container here. So first thing we gotta do, I got six of those nice fresh picked peaches today. We gotta get the skin off. I'll show you an easy way to do it. I'm just gonna take my knife here and I'm just gonna score the bottom here with an X. Not too deep, just to give us a point to start removing that skin. So we're gonna take our peaches that we scored and just add them to this pot of boiling water. One at a time. Make sure you have a big enough pot. And we're just gonna leave them about 45 seconds. And that's gonna loosen the skin. And then right next to our pot, we have an ice bath. And we're gonna drop them in there and let them completely cool. And then the skin should easily come off. We'll remove our peaches to our ice bath. And this is gonna stop the cooking process. We don't want our peaches to cook. We just wanna remove the skin. We'll leave them in that ice bath for just a few minutes. So our peaches are cooled enough. And now we could just remove the skin. And it comes off a lot easier if we were just to use a knife. So I'll do that for the rest of these peaches and then we'll keep going with our peach cobbler. Okay, we have all our peaches prepped. We got all the skin off and now we're just gonna take them, run our knife down the middle to the pit, all the way around. And then we're gonna take that half. I don't want them too small, but you don't want it too big. So I took that half, I cut it into five pieces. This seems like a good size. I'm gonna add this to a saute pan here. All right, so we have all our peaches cut. Have it in our pan here. Now, this is what we're going to be cooking the peach cobbler in. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna take half a cup of butter here, or one stick, and just cut this, and just put this in the bottom of our pan here. And we could take that and put it in the oven as it's preheating. In the meantime, we'll prepare the rest of our cobbler. We have our peaches here. I have a quarter cup of white sugar, quarter cup of brown sugar. We're gonna add that to our peaches. Healthy pinch of salt. And a tablespoon of cornstarch. Help keep everything thickened up. Now we're gonna take this and we're just gonna cook this on the stove top for a few minutes. So all the sugar's dissolved. Just par cook our peaches, get everything combined. So our peaches are cooking. Something else we wanna add. Nice teaspoon of fresh lemon zest. And we're just gonna add the juice of half a lemon. And that's just gonna brighten everything up. And all those flavors together. Make sure the juice from the peaches mixes with the sugar and that cornstarch will thicken it up a bit. And to finish these peaches, a nice teaspoon of vanilla. All right, our peaches are ready. Shut off the heat here. Let them cool down a bit. Now we'll make our cobbler topping, which actually is not really a topping because we're gonna put it on the bottom of our dish. So for this batter, really easy. We're gonna take one cup of all-purpose flour. Always round off your measurements. One cup of granulated sugar. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Quarter teaspoon of salt. Now we're just gonna add three quarters of a cup of whole milk. Combine it all together to make a nice batter. We'll just add our milk. Give everything a nice stir until it resembles a nice thick batter. And this is gonna go underneath our peaches and then rise up as it bakes. Bring back our pan here with our melted butter. We'll add that to the pan right on the bottom. Make sure we get everything out. And on top of that, we'll add our peaches. And we're gonna put this in the oven for 45 minutes. But before that, we're gonna take some fresh cinnamon. Grate that right over. If you have the ground cinnamon, you could use that. Allspice works great here. Cardamom is wonderful with peaches. If I had cardamom, I would use that, but fresh cinnamon is just fine. And with the cinnamon, just a touch of fresh nutmeg, just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way with these peaches with the nutmeg. 
All right, we'll check on this in 45 minutes. All right, it's been 45 minutes. Our peach cobbler is looking great. It's all finished, took it out of the oven. Something I forgot to mention, put a sheet tray underneath the pan. Let me grab this guy here. That looks fantastic. It smells fantastic too. So your cobbler filling came up through the peaches. We can't dive into this just yet. Let this hang out a half hour, cool down just a bit. Then we could take some out. We let our peach cobbler rest for a half hour. Really smell that fresh cinnamon and nutmeg. That's really just puts this peach cobbler over the top. Just that smell is just so great. Looks beautiful. Let's scoop some out, give this a try. I'm sure this is gonna be delicious. Spoonful here. A little more crust here. This really smells so good. Let's just admire this for a second. All right, that's enough. You really wanna serve this warm. Rest it a half hour, it's still pretty hot, but not enough to burn your mouth, as I've done in the past. If you are gonna put this away and reheat it, make sure you do it in the oven. Don't use a microwave. Scoop of vanilla ice cream with this is perfect too. Unfortunately, I don't have any vanilla ice cream, so I'm just gonna have to deal. It's not crazy sweet, Really get that fresh cinnamon, that lemon juice, especially with the zest, just brings all the flavors out. And that cobbler topping, that crisp around the edges, perfect. Our peaches aren't running all over because we had that cornstarch. Such an easy recipe to do, so delicious. Really gotta give this a try and give this video a thumbs up. It helps this channel grow and reach more people. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and we will see you next time.